Welcome to If They Won't Listen's episode 38 with Brian James. How you doing tonight? I'm all right. I'm all right. How's it going, guys? Good, good. We we're just talking about working out. What, what were you just saying about kettlebells, Leon? Oh, uh, yeah, I do. A, I do a regimen of kettlebell workouts where I do. I swing the 40 pounder. I do clean and presses, snatches, Turkish get ups, kettlebell swings. And then I move on to the resistance bands. And then I do squats, curls, shoulder presses. And I do rows. Rows. So, Rows, just, just rows all day. <laughs> and then I end up with calisthenics. Nice. I'm, I'm like all calisthenics, bro. I'm just <laughs> I'm, I'm like 10 point curl ups where I go like, you know, activate one ab, go up and in, chop an inch, chop an inch, chop an inch, and you do like 10 spots on your right side, 10 spots on your left side, and then 10 spots just straight. As we, I, they taught us those in karate. God, they're a bitch. <laughs> it's ever since corona the most i have done is come up with excuses like i haven't <laughs> did not one workout <laughs> say it uh, oh, wait 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 i lied in august last year i went to houston for a month i worked out with a person i mean with this bodybuilder he's a professional bodybuilder mm-hmm. he was shooting me with steroids every three days because i <laughs> want to have the whole i want the whole experience so yeah. after that i gained like 40 fucking pounds and then I looked like I was pregnant because I'm short. And then after that shit, I had to go and get liposuction in October. No lie. And now wow. that. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. All That's right. Pause. So pause for the cause. Before we got started, um, <clears throat> uh, Brian James went to go downstairs to get, uh, to get his uh, electrolytes because that's what he and plants crave. But while you were down, while you were uh, went down the two, t- two flight of stairs, Brian, I saw one orb go by your camera. And now while you were talking, I saw another orb go by your camera. Uh, dude, you got, I think you got some paranormal activity up in that, up in that place. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying fancy. to scare you, man. I'm being honest with you. I, I saw two, I already saw two orbs. Could be dust, could be whatever. But it was very, it just went whoop across the strain. Just well, saying. The red pencil. button's on now. If you saw them, we got them, we got them recorded. Yeah. <laughs> We got to record it. We're five we, minutes into the podcast. <laughs> we got you. Hilarious. We got you, homie. Yo, I was saying. You like to playing him, Xbox? Right. <laughs> I was saying to him when you walked away, did those arches behind you, that's some dope architecture, man. Like oh. uh, like the, the quad arch you got right there. An arch. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I I love that, man. It, yeah, it, it does look nice. Look at that face. Yeah. yeah, dude, that's that's insanely cool. Yeah, appreciate it. I ain't do it. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's that's something someone up. would put on a green screen behind them just to look cool. Oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, that's yeah. that's wicked cool. Um, but yeah, so you haven't been doing working out. I, I contemplated doing steroids for a short run just to see if I could, you know, up my up my game. But you had a bad run with it. Like you, you really it fucking didn't work out. No, it didn't work out. Not to mention, um, okay, full disclosure, I'm by. Woo! Big come out party. Not really. <laughs> Listen, no, so, <laughs> so guys, look, um, you ever go to do workout and the, your personal trainer is like, like flirting and you both on steroids when y'all flirting, that's when you really like have a fist fight. It was so weird. It didn't work at all. So I don't know if he was like sabotaging me at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Like seriously, <laughs> that sounds that sounds Awkward. a little crazy. So, <laughs> your personal trainer was doing it, and then he was guiding you to do it too. Well, he was like he was doing. I can't just stick myself with a needle. Probably why I don't never try crack. But, yeah. Um. He he was yeah. He shot me. Um. Uh, he was shooting me every three days, and when I tell you, I was gaining like ten plus pounds. Yeah. Yeah, it was bad. That was bad shit. <laughs> never had the. I've never done that before, man. So it looks like we're getting some low bandwidth over here, or is it just me? Yeah, no, I'm I'm good. Cutting in a little bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I did just well, every once in a while you, you cut out a little bit, Brian. Just just so that way, if if you cut out, we'll let you know so you can say what you say again. You know what I mean? Oh, um, no problem. I, I thought it was just awkward silences again. I was like, oh, wow. okay. <laughs> no, we're not trying. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it, it might, it might just be all on freaking, you know, the the network end or whatever. But we just, you know, you you were like, you would start talking and then it would cut a little bit, but it's all good. We just wanted to let you know. 
Um, those ghosts, they don't want you doing this show. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they're trying to See? It up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Um, I never what? had to do uh, uh, performance okay. enhancers before. I've never, never even contemplated that before in my life. Like, uh, I have. I did it before when I was in Iraq. Um, so I did it there. And it was this short guy. His name was Noble. He was like this tall. He was like Indian. And he was like swole as shit. Like he looked like one of the uh, Dragon Ball Z people. So um, <laughs> <laughs> he did. Uh, he was all ripped up and shit. And he he had oral steroids. So he had ordered some. And then they got shook to us. And I was popping those bad boys. And that's probably like my best physique ever. I was like pretty. I was lifting like 120, 140. Like, <laughs> 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 Seriously. But no problem. No problem. <laughs> no, that's insane. Um, no, I, I don't know. So is there any way to do steroids without getting a needle in your ass? Yeah. Or you mess up your kidney, your liver and shit, but I mean, you don't have to get stuck. Uh-huh. Huh. Yeah. Are you looking it up? Yeah, no, I'm on safari right now. <laughs> um, it's called anabolic. And, oh, and, okay. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. The fucking, that's just crazy to me. I, I don't know. I So, like, you probably wouldn't do it again after your first time, right? I I actually did it again after my first time. Oh, so the needle or the... Or, like, like at the, the needle was your second time, right? The needle was my second time, yeah. Yeah, so, like, would you do, after you've done both, would you do either again? I would do the oral ones. I know they say it mess up your liver, but, you know, YOLO. And I looked great. So <laughs> no, I know. When you said you didn't work out, I was like, this motherfucker does, doesn't work out. Okay. Right. No, the, the <laughs> thing is, I, I didn't work out for um I have muscle memory, I guess, because um I travel nonstop with a big ass like 50 pound table, massage table. So like every three days I'm in a new city with lugging this table and shit around. You know. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. So, where where are you from in the country? You don't need to dox yourself, but like, uh, you oh, know. um, I was born in Berlin, um, raised in Chicago, um, and now I live in New Orleans. But oh, I'm currently in Houston, Texas, uh, working on the finale, writing the finale of my audio series. I had to get out of town to like actually have a moment of silence. <laughs> so <laughs> I came to my big brother house in Houston because he's like a international flight attendant. Whoa. So <laughs> he's never home. <laughs> he's never home. He, I think he's in Hawaii right now. So, yeah. <laughs> what a job, man. For just on a plane every day. Every day. God. Yeah. Not me. Not me. No. I wonder. You know, yeah, go ahead. No, if you ever date a flight attendant, break up with them ASAP. Guess yeah, I, they're not going to be showing up to dates often. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows if they're not getting any strange? Who knows if they're not getting any strange over in other places? Because you oh, know they're getting strange. Two thousand mile rule, bro. There you go. <laughs> I know. I, I I always hear about the two thousand mile rule, but I never. I've never done it. Yeah, <laughs> you just you got to run far enough. <laughs> <laughs> That is the truth. Sometimes it's a 200 mass in my case, but you know, <laughs> not my case, but my situation. X. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, I know what you mean. Uh, <laughs> that's great. So, so, uh, why don't you tell, tell, tell us again about your show? You told me a little bit about it in the beginning, but go ahead and give us like a, a fresh, a fresh description here for, uh, for Leon. Okay. Yeah. Insert, you know, shameless promo here. Okay, guys. So it's about my life is now fictional. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so what happened was I had got out of a terrible relationship. Yay. Now I think <laughs> it was a blessing. Um, I ended up having to move back at home with my mom after 30. That's not something you want to do, guys. I was like 20, <laughs> I was like 20 some thousand dollars in debt. Um, yeah, really depressed because they talked to me out of getting off my uh medication because it was like well we could try other you know herbal i'm like now i'm like fuck that shit but at the time i was like yeah i'm in love sure let's try it and it didn't work so um i ended up leaving there 
Um, I moved back home. I got a job offer in Louisiana. Mm-hmm. So I moved to uh, the um, I moved to Louisiana for the job. And then, you know, COVID happened. So I got laid off. So I had a choice either to go back to Chicago or file unemployment and then figure it out in Louisiana. So I decided to stay in Louisiana. I reached out to some friends, uh, one of which was a traveling massage therapist, escort, whatever you want to call them today. So uh, I think there's a big difference. Like traveling yeah, yeah. massage therapist is, is what they, I pay to rub me and the traveling escort is what I pay to rub the other me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, well you'll said. You'll be surprised how that Oh, they're the it's, same. No, they're the same thing. I, yeah, no, I, I, I understand because that, that's the that's where happy ending comes from, right? Right. <laughs> so I mean, it is you know, yeah, you'll be surprised. So, um, in the midst of doing that, my first weekend, I went to Indianapolis and met up with them. Um, this is episode two, guys. Check it out. Um, oh man, spoilers! Went, <laughs> right, spoiler alert. And links I went will be there. beneath the show. <laughs> I went there. I didn't know exactly like how it worked. So I was getting all these messages and stuff. And this one guy was like, Hey, are you into water sports? And I'm like, Shh, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> like, That's a real stuff. <laughs> I'm like, but don't sure, go to the deep end. I said, yeah, I'm like, but sure, it sounds fun. He was like, sure. <laughs> I don't know. He was like, no, that means how, um, how much for you to pee on me, silly. So I was sitting here looking like, okay, if I give him a high enough, enough number, maybe I can flirt my way into getting them to like book the massage, even though I don't offer all the other stuff. Yeah, It didn't work out really, uh, really that well. I was like $545 for the hour. He was like, sure. Is seven o'clock great? <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Right. So, <laughs> I have a mint. I had like a a little uh, which a panic attack. Um, I was sitting here like, okay, I never peed on anyone before. I mean, I sat the pee in the shower and splashed my ex, but it wasn't on purpose, and they got pissed off. So whatever. So it's an uh, occupational this guy, hazard. I was like, right. I'm like, okay. Why so, are you mad? You're uh, in the shower with me. I pee in the shower. I'm exactly. my bad. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so the crazy thing yeah. is, like, instead of me, I was like freaking out saying, if I, he want to clear pee or yellow pee, like, um, do I, do he want smelly pee, like eat some asparagus? I never peed on nobody before, so I was trying to make it special. I was like, I had to do right. it. So, you have to. Yeah. And then, so I fuck around, forgot to drink water. I was massaging all day. I was pretty booked up. Um. I get a text message like, hey, sexy, what's the room number? I'm downstairs. And at that moment, I was like, I forget about Pissy P. Like, I really <laughs> That's what I call him. So Pissy P comes in. Pissy P? And, yeah. And I thought he was like, a, he looked like a normal guy. He had on a suit and tie. The whole time I'm doing the massage, I'm like, how and where I'm going to piss on him at? Like, do I just do it right here on the bed? Like. I don't know. I'm in the hotel room. I don't know what the fuck to do. So um, I had to channel my inner dominatrix. And I was just like, okay, what would a dominatrix say? I was like, get the fuck up. And he got up. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, get in the fucking tub. And then he got like, oh, like, yep. he looked nervous. Like he wanted to run, but I wanted to run. I was like, fuck. So, no, he wanted, no, like, I can clearly tell you that's exactly what he wanted. He wanted to feel nervous. He wanted to feel like he, he wanted to feel like he fucked up, you know? Right, right. Uh, yeah. I was like, get I was like, get on your fucking knees. So he got on his fucking knees. I was like, open your fucking mouth. And then at this point, he gave me like a little slight grin. And he closed his eyes and he opened his mouth. And I was like, here goes nothing. And I'm like, so afterwards. Man, some people are so fucking. I'm glad you got paid for the massage. You're not the weird (laughs) guy. (laughs) I'm not here to kink shame. No, not yeah, about King well, Shaman. What's, what's that game? So look, this is what happened at the end. Uh-huh. Uh, he afterwards, I turned on the hot, the water, shower, water, so I'm take a shower. I went back in the room. At this point, the massage over. I'm just like, okay, it wasn't that bad. You know, less than an hour, and I made five hundred forty-five dollars. I can get used to this. Okay, okay. Um, and now only owe two. I mean, twenty thousand. So yeah, sure. <laughs> but um, 
he came out with the bathroom. He was like, man, that was wow. What the man? Yeah. Oh my God, my heart was racing. So he was like, five star much? review. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, five, five water star. drop review. <laughs> <laughs> and the crazy thing is, uh, he was like, "How much do I owe you?" He's, I'm like five forty five, and he was like, "I only got two fifty. Can I zero you the rest?" And I'm like, "Sure, sure." I didn't really think much of it. So he paid me the money. He left out. I um got on the couch. And I started checking my message again because you know I might have another person who wants to schedule something. And as I'm checking it, I got a text message. Hey man, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Can we schedule for another time? And then I'm like scrolled up trying to figure out who it was, and that was the real pissy P. Like I pissed on the wrong person. So that was my first full day on the job, guys. Yeah. He liked it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. What are no, the odds? What a twist. Like I that's... love it. No, honestly, yeah. like, what are the odds? Like, I've never met a person who like, well, okay, maybe I've met tons of people who like that, but they don't bring that up, you know? Right. But like, gee, it that's happened. that's right. insane. During a game of Xbox, you playing with someone, he's like, yeah, by the way, man, I had someone piss my mouth. Dude, yeah, what? Right. I just, I like, have you ever heard of golden shower, bro? And I'm not talking about the rich kind. Like, <laughs> Is there any other kinds? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, no, that's, that's insane. So, so did you ever end up going to Pissy Pete? Um, Pissy Pete did show up that trip. Um, but the guy who I pissed on the day prior showed up <laughs> the next day. Um, and he was um we I had to pee on him this time. I actually just gave him a massage. So he wanted like another massage. So he paid like almost seven hundred dollars to get to that weekend. Um, so it was pretty cool. So at that point I knew I wasn't gonna fill out no more job applications because I made two thousand dollars that weekend. I was like, fuck that shit. I'm going to feel like unemployment, and this is what I'm going to do. So <laughs> for like three or four months, I was like a traveling, you know, um, glorified whore. I was just yeah. rubbing backs. So I was uh, just rubbing backs. I did that. Yeah, so I did that. I had like a lot. Of, I have a crazy African stalker. It, um, I talk about him in the uh, audio series. He, he texted me yesterday. Uh, yeah, it's going to stop. I had this weird guy in Nashville when the massage is over. I told him, like, um, well, I, I said, okay. I tried to let him out the door. He was like, looked like Big Bird. He was really tall and oddly shaped. It looked weird. But long story short, I was like, okay, I have another person coming. So I thought he left out the door. I went in the bathroom, got in the shower. I come out and I hear the TV on. I'm like, what the hell? I go out there and I see this man butt ass naked on my bed watching tv and i'm looking like what are you doing uh he's just staring at me not saying nothing like he's really quiet i'm like okay i'm gonna call security because this is weird and then he put on his clothes and ran out the door screaming like i did something to him so that was a kind of creepy moment um i changed rooms that night um another um, thing yeah that was smart <laughs> yeah. um, another weird thing the weirdest thing that happened to me all together was I went to a crackhead house for alcohol and he started doing crack. And like at first he was like, you don't look like your pictures. And I'm looking like, what pictures are you talking about? So he showed me like a whole different person profile. And I'm like, that's not my profile. He said, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Catfish is not cool. And I'm looking like motherfuckers, not me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but you know what I do. <laughs> so I'm ready. I kick his ass, and uh, it was just bad. And then so we going back and forth about that. And I'm like, look, you want the massage? He said, I guess so, since you're already here. And then he took off his coat and stuff. The man was like this big, like literally. He would creep over to the couch. And next time, hmm? we had, we had we had some lights again. We did. <laughs> Oh. We did. I saw him. <laughs> no, dude. No joke. I was staring at you, bro. And like five <laughs> lights flew down in front of yeah. the camera and then it came like... straight to the camera. <laughs> yep. It was you, trippy. You weren't even moving. It's it's recorded. Okay. It, it exists. But <laughs> yeah. Con so continue. you'll see. We'll, we'll, you'll see this when we post it. Yeah. yeah I'm going to make ghost. Thank guys for having me go to sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, for real. Good luck. Uh, so, yeah. So you, you were saying so uh, the crazy the you were circle back to what you were saying you, ch you changed rooms because that fucking crazy yeah. stalker and you're about to talk about the second crazy thing or whatever 
Oh uh, yeah, the crackhead guy. He uh, crackhead. He that's doing, it. Like, crackhead Mike. He started doing crackhead like crack Mike. on the yeah. They all got funny names. So he started doing crack on the couch or whatever. And I'm like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? And he just like drooling this shit. I'm like, oh hell no. I never seen nobody do crack before. At least not in person. So I saw it in movies. So it stinks so bad. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. So he see me like packing everything up and stuff. Then he get up and he's like running towards me, like literally like trying to run towards me like some get out shit. And midway it's through running, out, he yeah. just nod off again. Like, yeah, he was just like this, not enough again. Like he was running full speed, stopped, and just started nodding again. <laughs> Bro, when I t- yeah, I was so fucking scared because it was late as hell at night, and I was like, man. Um, the only other thing I hear was the Kako couple. Um, okay. In Dallas, I mean Highland Park. Um, I went Did to their house. Did you say cuckold? Yeah, cuckold. Yeah, I had yeah, that. Can couple. I get a Webster Webster's minimum on that real quick? Oh man, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, totally. So basically what happens is is that uh if in this case Brian is mm-hmm. sleeping with the wife while the husband yeah. watches. Records. Wow. Or record yeah, and records, jacks off. Shit. There's so that's even, like is yeah. is a cuckold different? Is is just cuckold the new age term for swinging? No, because there's only no. three people involved. Oh, swinging is, four, five, yeah, swinging is specifically oh. couples and couples. Yeah, swinging is specifically couples and couples. What he did was cut with, with cuckold and, and not to mansplain or you know take his light take his shine here, but yeah, what he's gonna doing is he's having sex with this guy's wife while he watches or records and then like whatever. There's also another degree to it where the man will be right underneath it, right underneath wherever he's slapping skin, and he's like, and he's like the wife is like, watch how he fucks me, watch how he fucks, me. and he's just like slapping it, bam, bam. and he's like, oh my god, honey, he does it so good. Stuff like that. You watched a few videos. I, I, can't, <laughs> I, you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I've seen a few videos, man. There's like, all right, man. I feel like it's cuck, it's a cuck, it's not a female night. It's gonna be a cuckold night, and if it's not that, it's hentai. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's not gonna be water sports. It's gonna be something else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that happened. Um. Um. I didn't actually sleep with the wife. Um. So, so what did he want you to do to her? Um. I'm trying to load the episode really quick. So I have like a five second little clip that y'all could have probably left at. Oh, there we go. So I just want y'all, um, I'm going to put it up here if y'all can hear it. But I want y'all to see because the, the voice actors I hired did an amazing job trying to like recreate that. And I want everybody to know they from my journal notes. So, yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, and this is. Uh, Butler opened the door. Oh, well, it's too low. Fuck it. Listen, so long story short, um, they wanted me to wear a, a wife beater uh, and some some baggy knickerbockers, like from the hippie hop videos. <laughs> hippie hop videos. Like, yeah, in their 50s, early 50s, or whatever. Um, they had a huge ass house, like a lot of money and shit. So I get there. Um, I'm like, so where do you want to? Um, want to do the massage he said man sit down sit down take a load off i know you had a long day you know running from cock and slapping holes and i'm like oh okay. <laughs> and then she was like oh, oh daddy she was like dad she kept calling him daddy like oh, Nick. how many times have you been to prison and i'm looking like bitch never not yet <laughs> you keep it up <laughs> i might be <laughs> so after <laughs> after um after that he started playing fuck the police back nwa i think that's what it is and he's like new lyrics and stuff and he had on his baggy pants he had on no shirt his hat was turned this way and he was like man uh when she was dancing on the table they was doing like a shitload of coke they kept asking me do i want some i was like no thank you and they was just started doing their lines and shit every time they did a line they got more and more animated so she had on a ramstone bra so um <laughs> fishnet stockings she looked like christina aguilera from that dirty era oh yeah i got you yeah that's yeah i got you homie like yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she looked like Every time I tell people, like, no, this this stuff really happened, they're like, no, it didn't. I'm like, I got receipts. And then afterwards, he's like, like, I got fuck? receipts, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I got receipts. Uh, just in case anybody ever say, like, oh, you lied on me. I'm like, you know what? You might well just shut up because I have like proof right here, buddy. So, 
um, yeah. <laughs> that alone. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, but long story short, I didn't want to have sex with her. Her breast was really like old school implants, so they was like really hard and didn't move. Oh, like, ooh. yeah. Mm, just, no, no, thank you. You're right. And then that, that song Trap Queen came on. Um, they was playing on their little playlist, and she was like, Look, daddy, I'm a trap queen. And then she like kept on playing with herself, trying to like, I guess, entice me or seduce me. It didn't work. Uh, it didn't work. <laughs> the heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> right. And then afterwards, she said, She called me an uptight nigger after I told her. Whoa, that whoa, whoa. Sheesh. With the heart ER? Yeah, the hard E-R. Ooh, er. That's rough. Wait, wait. And so at first they were saying it, and they were just saying it like, yeah, my nigger. Like, yeah. Oh, like, no. Oh, no. It happened. So, I believe that. I'm sitting, there the, I'm sitting there the whole time like, okay, it's like a lot of land. So if I try to run, I'm on their property. They could shoot me. What Yo. the hell do I do? <laughs> So I'm thinking to myself, they got a black butler. He was like, oh, as shit. So um, they called him down or whatever and told him, they said, get him out of my house. That's what the man said. After I called his wife a bitch for keep calling me niggers, he was like, get him out of my house for we have some nigger stew for supper or some shit like that. Do you were, and dude, I was, you were almost in a new Get Out movie that wasn't a film. Yeah. yeah. This maybe, is some, maybe this maybe is like Jordan Peele. Peel- Film right in the make it, honestly. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it was, it was weird. Um, so after that, um, long story short, I'm gonna just wrap this whole little thing up. So um I ended up taking a sabbatical from massaging after I quote unquote assaulted a deaf guy, but he was only deaf in one ear. So he heard what the fuck I was saying. So that happened. I had like a little <laughs> break, mental breakdown, and I'm back on my uh, medication, so I feel normal again. All right. All right. Yeah. Dig it. Yeah. All right. But he did hear me. I told him to stop. He should, he should yeah. He should have heard you, man. <laughs> Sorry, well, Colin. <laughs> Don't press charges. Yeah. Motherfucker. <laughs> he, looking trying to use his handicap. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like motherfucker, uh, I know you run. I seen it. <laughs> stop with that sticker. Right. <laughs> Uh, man, that was funny. Like he literally grabbed my like my whole little nut sack, and then the first thing came to mind was like to hit him. So I like whack on his back, and then I did it again. And then his like his he was really pale white, and it was like you can see my whole handprint on his back. Damn. So he was like screaming like ah, and, like stunned. And then I freaked out. And I ran in the bathroom and shit. And I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> it was really crazy. Like yeah. Uh, oh, sounds man. like your profession has a chance to make money and a chance to be killed by cuckolders. Yeah. yeah. And go crazy. And, and, go and crazy. Piss, I, pissy Pete's and, and their likes. As somebody who dated an escort, I can tell you that those stories are legit. You dated an escort? Yeah. Did I not talk about this before? Well, no, you didn't. And, and now I'm curious, <laughs> like, your significant other knows that? Yeah. That's, that's like dick dipping your dick in a sewer. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing, the thing about it, the thing about it was I was just like, I, I was just trying to be, I was pretty open-minded about the whole thing. It didn't bother me none. And no, plus, I'd be I, open-minded about it too. If I got to sleep with an escort, I'm just <laughs> from third yeah. person. She, it, it, you know, I, if I had to do the whole TLDR, TLDR, we didn't last more than a few months. I'm just saying. Okay. First of all, she, we, I was in a, I was polyamorous at the time and I was, I was, um, I was with her and then who was eventually going to be my wife was with somebody else. And we had an understanding, blah, blah, blah. But I just remember how much, how jealous she used to get of my now future of my now present wife. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm like, didn't you just go have sex with like a satanic leader? And you give me shit like he flew you all the way from Ocala over up to New York, did his whole thing with you and then flew you back. You got a problem with me staring at this person I really love for real. <laughs> but yeah, she's had, she's had she's told me all types of stories where she's had to do corporophilia, 
you know, water sports. Okay, dictionary on the first one. Pissy coprophilia peach, the is one. coprophilia is like eating poop, human feces. <laughs> What's that prefix? Does that prefix mean shit, or does it mean eating shit? No, it means no. It means it means I believe it means poop. Yeah, feces. Cor- corporophilia. Yeah, feces C-O- C-O-R-P- I'm trying to remember how to spell it. Now. Yeah, no, C-O- it's all good. I just I've never heard that prefix. You should totally yeah. Google it right now. You know the <laughs> images that will come with it might oh. just just put say so, search on. Let me know if y'all can see that clearly. I just, yeah, yeah, kind of. There's yeah, some yeah. lights on it, but yeah, yeah no, get, I, get yeah. the luchador mask on. Yeah, yeah, I see yeah, yeah. So one of my clients pays me to beat their ass for about 30 minutes. Um, they like the wrestle and they bring me costumes. <laughs> they like and to they get like, wrestled. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> Wants to be choke slammed and then put it oh, in the Boston do. crab. You know, the first time it was, I was nervous. Like afterwards, though, it was like exhilarating. I was like jumping off of the bed and tables and shit and acting like um. What's the name of the Hardy Boys? I just go, ah, oh, then, ah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, you're like, just fucking oh. running around a guy's house who grew up watching Rey Mysterio. And he's like, right. I, get the, uh, I had like a wig on with the two tone colors, like the Hardy Boys. And I had, uh, I got like a bunch of tattoos that worked. I was like, ah. <laughs> I, I love it. That yeah. I can't wait to listen to that episode. <laughs> dude, you you are the king of all all those. Like you, you should have a Fiverr page, bro, dude. You you could tell <laughs> stories or sell stickers. <laughs> but he's got his audio drama. There you oh, go. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, he's got sure. his audio drama. Oh, it's a live t- um, trailer coming out. Like now, I'm gonna have. It's like truly actors, but yeah, not me. Okay, but, that's super yeah. cool. That's dope. It's yeah. good for you, man. <laughs> so how, how long ago did you do the first episode of it and how long has it been like how long have you been doing it to the point where you are now okay so i started this back in january um okay. i didn't get the first episode completed until april 16th my birthday Okay. So it took about four months because they I had to take the I had to find the voiceover actors. I had to find like the composer and the sound engineer who can who can get my vision. Uh, I went to a lot of people who like couldn't connect or it didn't resonate well with them. Of course I understand. Um, but it just sounded as if it was no inspiration or no like imagination put into it. So I found like a dope team. I mean, for the most part. Um, and yeah, it's been coming out the way I want it. All right. That's good. That's, that's really, really good, man. Cool. Good for you. Yeah, no, that's that's badass. Thank Putting you. together the whole fucking crew. That's that's super cool. Yeah. So I have to keep pouring, guys, because I have 18 people to pay. It seems, <laughs> yeah, I, it seems it seems that way. <laughs> No that's correct. <laughs> Did you have good experience like getting a sound Hell. engineer and stuff? No. It wasted a lot of money at first. I tried Fiverr, didn't work. Um, I tried, uh, I used Upwork. And when I first went through Upwork, I went through the guy, the web developer. He had a roommate who did my um, sound engineering. It was terrible. And then I hired this other guy who got like a bunch of IMDb credits. He was on Wild and Now and all this other shit. And then he sent me some shit and sound like some grunge industrial. I'm like, I can't even hear the fuck I'm saying, bro. Like it's so much. Ah, ah, <laughs> like, you know, I mean, that's good after I take a Molly or some shit. But after right now, no. Like, yeah. Ah. So, I am unsatisfied uh, with the quality of this sound. <laughs> right. At least under the pretenses of what my mental capacity is right now. Yeah. It's not resonating. For but real. no, it took it took like um all to it was a it was a long process. So it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Mm. It's got easier now though, because I have episodes out, so I can say, hey, check that out, and then let me know if you can replicate it or something similar. And then they'd be like, yes or no, and I go from there. All right. Yeah, you uh, guys do voice acting? No, never. I, I'm thinking about doing two big upgrades. So I built this computer February 2020, um, and I, I'm now in a new place where I have room, my own private room, to uh, you know keep my daughter out of my tech shit, so I can actually like 
invest without worrying about her getting into it. And uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going from USB mic to a, a, a XLR. And nice. So that'll that'll make a big difference, too. And um, and yeah, then secondary to that, I think I'm going to switch off a webcam and I'm going to buy a DSLR, like a professional camera that I plug into my computer. And so it won't be some 30 FPS webcam watching me. It'll be like a professional camera goes 4k yeah yeah oh yeah. hell yeah <laughs> hold on one second i want y'all to look at this and let me know what i got is it more ghosts yeah probably we're gonna like let's see let's check out his room see if it so as we're waiting we're we're, we're ghost watching here for a second so, guys let, let's let's still point out he has lots yeah. of reflected photo frames and yeah in his, and it's daytime so like so what kind of mic is this uh my sound engineer told me to buy this um it's a yeah a blue you got a, a blue. usb at the bottom yeah, it's probably, yeah. Uh, a sure or blue yeah no that looks like a pretty pretty good standard level mic like it would, yeah you know. pretty legit what that must have ran like what 175 something like that yeah audio, yeah. audio technica audio no they're good they're, th that's oh, yeah. a solid brand yeah okay no the only reason why i'm asking because i have to do some voice acting myself after i finish this and when he said he got him a new mic that wasn't like into the computer USB, I started thinking like, wait, is my shit cheap? <laughs> well, it, it's not that USBs. I mean, yeah, USBs are technically cheap, but it's like, you know, I have what I consider to be one of the best USBs on the market. And even still compared to all the others, it's the same in USB. The mm -hmm. only difference that the other ones get better is because it's a mic and, uh, you know, a box to control your interface. And then it goes to your computer. So it just, you have more, you know, like I have no settings for mine. I have a little, you know, uh, right here, fucking gain control where I can flip me up and down and I can mute it. But those are all the controls I have. So like USB mics are like that. Whereas if I had a, you know, a $700 microphone and a $550 amp and then a program to, to run it all, you know, then for, for, for being in at $1,300, I could be like, I want to sound like a girl. Wah. Or I want to sound like I have giant balls and like you have control of, you know, all ranges of, you know, voice. And it's like, just, it's they're not cheap, like oh, at, at all. So it's like, you know, yeah. no one starts with those, but once you realize, Oh, I want to go big, like all voice actors are on those, they're not on USBs. And so it's like, you yeah, know, but there's, is there like Kibago? Like what? Kibago or Kibaga. Y'all know what I'm talking about? No, Tri Trivago is a website to get hotels, but no, I don't, <laughs> no. I, I don't no, think that's the same thing. I know. No, the guy <laughs> Trivago, uh, he's the one who called like those um, scammers, those Indian scammers. Oh, people. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. Right. Yeah, I, know he changes yeah. I went down that rabbit hole. I haven't got out yet, but yeah, um, he could change his voice and everything. So maybe something like that. His yeah. most viral video is the one where he keeps this person for an hour. He has his voice modulated that he sounds like an old lady. Mm -hmm. And he's getting. Granny. Yeah. Yeah. And he gets this dude so frustrated. This guy is yelling on the phone for an hour. It's the it's yeah. it's pretty funny to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> he's good at that. Yeah, no, they're really cool. They just cost a fucking arm and a leg. And just like anything else, even if I buy a $1,300 one, once I have that and that's the norm, I'll meet people who have $5,000 ones. And it's like, oh, man, now my the one that's worth a car that I have isn't as cool as his that's worth a motorcycle brand new. And then you get in that league and then someone has the gold plated version of that for 20000 It's like there's honestly no top end. Like, oh, man. Okay. At, you know, so I mean, I'm like, happy. I'm always happy with what I got. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> and when with what you, I you got, upgrade, you, know? you should be happy with what you got when you upgrade, baby. Yeah, yeah no, don't. it's it's like you know when you upgrade from a Honda Civic to any version of a better car than that in your mind, <laughs> you, know, you can't be mad when you get in your new car and be like, oh, it's not a fucking Ferrari. I'm irritated. You know, it's like you don't, you don't, you know. You know what? Here's the way. Here's the way I I've told people who want to get fancy cars and whatnot. I go, look, you can get that car that can go 180. In two minutes, right? That's great. But when you're stuck in traffic, first of all, one eighty in two minutes is like any car in the world. But like, right, whatever. All right. So what I'm trying to say, I could do it. All right. 
Uh, that should tell you what my level of car, my knowledge of cars is, right? It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> what I'm, I'm saying, your balls. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. You, you got it. You got a tendency. You see balls, you bust them. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the topic has been brought up. We've had, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but I, I always say, yo, you can get a car that goes that fast, that quickly. That's great. But when you're stuck in traffic, you're doing 40 miles an hour like the rest of us, and I yeah. don't have to pay that much. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, most certainly you know and i love fast cars too but like i i love the car i have now that costs two grand equally mm-hmm. the same as much as i love the new one because they both do the same feature i'm going from a to b yeah <laughs> i love that feature it's a good, that's it's my a favorite good it's a good one no horse <laughs> no trotting you know what i mean we'll skip all of that. <laughs> Just fucking i don't me. have to put it on a feedback at the end yeah. of the day <laughs> no i oh I, shit I, no. <laughs> what happened yeah but uh, <laughs> they probably pulled the, the the fucking pop cover off the front. But uh, yeah, no, you, dude, that's yeah, that's a good level mic. And to go from like a speaker on a device to that, it will be a hundred percent difference. Oh yeah, okay. like Man, the way, I'm using this you, microphone, baby. Yeah, what 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 you spent on on that is like fucking forty or fifty more than what I spent on mine. You know what I mean? Like this was only like one hundred and twenty bucks. Like okay. this, you know, it's but yeah, don't don't don't. Yeah, that was caught, good. Yeah, don't get caught up in prices, man. Just listen to it. And if you like it, you like it. You know, I heard yeah. myself on a $40 mic and I sounded terrible. And then I got a $120 mic and I, I loved it. But honestly, I hated both because I just don't like listening to myself. Yeah, <laughs> you just 40 miles stuck in traffic, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, so, so, yeah, go ahead. What, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Brian, so what are you talking about now in your show? You, you obviously that you said those were some of your beginning episodes talking about, you know, piss and Pete and fucking uh, crackhead Jack and all the people in your story. Crackhead Mike, whatever. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> listen, you gotta listen. I did listen. He had crack. And his name was a name. <laughs> <laughs> he got the gist of it. He got the gist of it. Uh, yeah, the, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. But no, it's no, a good pun. I can't turn this off. Uh, it's a good pun. <laughs> it's actually like it's not a podcast per se, like where me I'm talking. Um, mm-hmm. it's more of an audio drama, so it's like told, told narrative point of view. Then you have like um, so the story is guided. You have people stopping. You have dialogue and all this other shit. My assistant, um, bottom bitch, is on there. Um, bottom I bitch. Actually, yeah, I had an assistant. Their name was Bottom Bitch. Um, they're fired now. I had to get rid of them. They became know? the Bottom Bitch. No, Bottom <laughs> Bitch is a good thing, though. It's, that's yeah. how you know it's your top bitch. There you go. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> lost in this paradigm. Do you not know that? You don't not know that term, Bottom Bitch. <laughs> For no, real? <laughs> no, no, really. It's a, it's, a pimp, it's a pimp term that means that is your best hoe. That's like your the hole that brings in the most money. God. Brian, they're... tell me I'm wrong. No, you're right. Yeah. You no, no, right. I'm not. See, see, some phraases it, cause in, our, in our stupid fucking language work like <laughs> golf. You know what I mean? What count? What, what, it used We're on be, par. You know, like she's a dime because she's a ten. Now it's like I got uh one. That's the best. And it's like what? The, you know, you, didn't <laughs> change you, shit? The, you can't come in and inverse the game. <laughs> and everything. But yeah, no, that's cool. That, that statement. To, yeah. No. Okay. Bottom bitch. Good thing. You know. Yeah. Bedrock and um, Minecraft, bad thing, but I'm with you. There you go. Uh, so, <laughs> um, I'm wrapping up season one. Um, the last episode airs in June, um, and then we go on hiatus. I'm already writing season two, um, and I get them off of my journal notes. So I write down, like, if I have some crazy happen, um, my therapist told me the best way to vent, since I'm not, like, a huge talker, uh, she told me to write it down. And so that's how I ended up coming about. Like, it was like all these journal notes and crazy experiences. And I'm like, I'm going to make some out of this. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, good on you. You know, it's really, what's really interesting is how we've come almost into a, a full circle with entertainment in terms of these audio dramas, because there are things that are just really popping. They're, they, they've been coming up for a while since the, not the invention of podcasts, but definitely since the invention of podcasts, we've been getting more and more audio dramas. And it's just funny because you can go back, you can go back to the time when the radio was first was first out and how radio stations used to do, you know, these audio plays where it was just <laughs> like, it's like, it's like, oh, the, the green, the green hornet is down in the basement with, with the, with the, with Cato and they're trapped. <laughs> 
That is the Nazis yeah. coming in. It's like, it's like, Kato, we need to get out of here. That's right. Go, Green Hornet, we need to go out now. And then they make sound effects going off. <laughs> yes. Um, and the great thing is I got to talk to the producer guy, uh, Family Guy. Not, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, That's McFarlane? Not the creator. Not, no. Not, oh, not no. Seth MacFarlane. That, okay. Um, what's his name? David Zuckerman, I think that's his name. I got a video of him. You got a video um, of him? Show I called him a dinosaur. Um, <laughs> but it was just like, I, I typically have mark, mouth parts. So, him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah he looks like the guy from Jurassic yeah. Park. But There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and he pretty much was like, uh, anywho, just, I hit him up and I asked him for some advice or whatever. And pretty much, I figure if I use like Cameo, that app, you ever heard of it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I use Cameo. It asks like a bunch of producers and actors and stuff for advice. And my logic is that's a nice way to present them my project without having like if I don't know them, like, hey, you know, I paid to get a response. So they go to check it out and maybe it might interest one of them. So he told me to DM him and I did. And we was we I think the last time I heard from him was, what's today? It's Saturday or Sunday. Is it Kirk or Butler? Sunday. Um, so I heard from him last Saturday. Mm-hmm. That's the last time we spoke. But he he has been, like, giving me, like, some good advice as far as uh, Alex Sukin or Sokin. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just looked him up on Instagram again. But, yeah, he gave me some um, good advice. And then I hit up a couple other people, like Zane. She does, like, a lot of erotic novels. Um, this guy right here, he's like a a music musician. I I don't really know him, but kids say he's popular, and they all give like little <laughs> shout outs. This is a director. I don't really know him, but he got like good energy and stuff. And he, you know, I think he gave he gave my podcast a three star. I'm not sure. <laughs> It was a very honest three stars. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, I went back and I had that. Um, I did go back and retool some stuff after I got like some advice from them mm-hmm. to make it more fluid. So it's been pretty cool, man. It's been pretty cool. Um, my hopes is with all the streaming sites, they're gonna need like new sources of material to like. Yeah. And then maybe one day, if I make it easy enough for them, like to visualize it, and you know. It's cohesive and entertaining, then they're like, oh, we can easily do this. So that's oh. my hope. Oh, for real. No, no, they totally can. If you have it formatted in just the right way, I mean, people eat people, you know, as as viewers, we eat that, we eat that kind of shit up where it's both it's funny, it's provocative, there's a drama to there's a there's a a, a, a key of drama in there. You know, people are gonna eat that up. I know I know my wife does, she loves that kind of stuff. You know, yeah. and so having something in there where it's about a, it's about this escort who just gets into the game one day and just has this kind of this awkward beginnings, and then like he gets it, all right, he finds his foot in, but then it still gets awkward and well, gets, gets called and the N word during a cuckold thing. My wife yeah, that loved ep- that. Um, that episode is called Nigger Dick, episode eight. <laughs> <laughs> It's better than uh, Cracker Dick, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a lot, it's, a, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger episode. It's a bigger episode. <laughs> oh my but God. no. Uh, Subtext at its best. <laughs> but no, I had, um, I pretty much, it's, it's about mental health, but the mm-hmm. provocative thing to talk about is like, yeah, it's an escort, this, that, and other. But you're watching this guy. That's a like, hook. Bitch. That's a hook, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you watch this guy who mental health is deteriorating throughout the episode. And then by the time the end comes, he's like so sleep deprived and um, going through psychosis. And he's like at a point of manic depression. So he's just like real snappy and shit. Yeah. So, yeah, you see how that's like contrast the beginning where he was like, like low, but depressed. And now he's like up there and depressed. It's like, ah, so, yeah. Yeah. It's, I it goes you. through. Yeah. It's so. good, it, man. It's good for you to have these creative outlets, and I love how the I love the fact that you're channeling it into something that's, you know, um, reachable by by many listeners that are out there. So, uh, is your audio drama on Podbean, Stitcher, Spotify? Where, where where can we listen to this? 
Apple, I like that. Your whole little interview stitch came back. It was like, hey, I like that. <laughs> uh, Spotify, I'm Johnny Carson, Apple. baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I call it. It was like Apple. Um, mm. It's on Spotify, Amazon. Simplecast is the host. Okay. Um, you guys, have, okay, I use Simplecast. I was using Buzz Sprout at first. Yeah, but All right, we, we tried them on the very, very beginning. Yeah, yeah, I I switched to um uh, simple cast, but right now um I'm on, let's see distributors. I have a whole host of them actually. Um, iTunes, Firefox, Pocket Cast, Ghana Music, Google Podcast, um, uh, Spotify, Chrome, Apple Podcasts, Facebook, and Simple Cast. So do you, oh, and YouTube. Do you- do you Literally, have some? You just gotta throw out a fishing line and pull back. You'll find it. That's what it sounds yeah. like. There you go. <laughs> just type in the name, and then you put podcast in Google, and it literally pulls up because I've been having SEO people. Is that what they call? It? Yeah, 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 SEO. Yeah, yeah. search engine yeah. optimization. It's a lot. Of, <laughs> it's a lot of Indians from uh, over there. And they they do omit that i want to get canceled guys it's a lot of people from other countries who come and they yeah. do like labor that's not very expensive and it been helping my show i we looked up <laughs> the funny thing is we were talking about this the we were talking about this in one of our last episodes and uh um i don't want i hate the butcher's name blah 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 however uh however ricky said it that one time yeah i don't know i botched the name every time you but did you know and I'll, i check feel out now. this awesome guy on fiverr who when he hears this will and he's write gonna that most likely on plug the chapter into this thing chapter. yeah you can just chapter this as you bro it's all you <laughs> but yeah <laughs> we, we, he we pays paid him it, yeah what ten dollars yeah per hour yeah per so hour. if we, if we Which, go out it's like fucking you know 15 yeah. 20 so it, i looked up the i looked up um rupees the conversion rate for rupees and i think it ended up being 733 rupees yeah no it's, it's a, a big it's a big swap you know it's so. a yeah for real and okay i paid them eight yeah eight yeah yeah no it's i'm, I'm super happy with the service i don't want to listen to myself so for for you know what i mean <laughs> but two uh, two hours of my job per week the the money of that or one overtime hour goes towards the chapter you know, and then like, you know, another hour will go towards SEO and shit like that, you right. know, so, I, you know, it's just, it's yeah. Mess- yeah, I used to smoke cigarettes. He used to spend $13 a day on cigarettes. I can spend $30 a week on my podcast. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> it's $13. Priorities. Well, like I smoked Marlboro Reds and, you know, I, yeah, like. Those are tax, baby. Yeah, Those are bro. taxed like 12 up, man. or 13, almost yeah. everywhere. I mean, some places you can get short in the middle of freaking, you know, Cowboyville, yeah, you can but- get them cheap, but. Yeah, like seven, eight dollars. Yeah, yeah. People uh, will do that. They'll drive down, fill their trunk up with seven or eight dollar packs, drive back and sell them for twelve dollar packs, and make a fucking killing <laughs> illegally. But yeah, you know, um, it's really bad there in Chicago. They do that all the time. Mm-hmm. It's a thing. <laughs> well, in Boston, they had we had like we had Lucy's, bro, because I lived in Section Eight, where it was you know poverty or whatever for for quite a lar- long time, or what felt like an even longer time than it was too. But uh, mm-hmm. like you know we had Lucy's where I could just go to a store and buy a single cigarette for like a quarter. Like, so they had yeah. already open packs in the stores. And so you could just buy individuals. <laughs> so nice. Yeah. Walking around like, you know, it made a quarter important back in the day, you know, <laughs> it's a lot of value in that quarter, man. There you go. <laughs> you know, you got- hey, two for <laughs> what I used to do with a quarter was good. I, I used to go to the coin. I used to go to the coin up laundry and play metal slug on the arcade. That's what I did with my metal car. slug, huh? Metal slug or Samurai Showdown, whatever they had, whatever was on, whatever was on the cab. That's what we were playing. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I never was a gamer. Um, I could play um, Mortal Kombat, um, Street Fighter. Oh, Soul that's Blade. the shit right there, baby! Oh hell yeah! Soul Blade was my favorite. Oh, Soul Blade is the shit, baby! Yeah. Um, who was your character, Mitsurugi? <laughs> it was the one who like, that one who was great. I mean, like. Icy, I want to explain it's like an ice character. I'm gonna uh, look it up. So, damn, yeah, it's been a minute since I played Soul Blade. I say I play, I've been playing Soul Caliber, but it's been a minute since similar? I played Soul Blade. Yeah, they're the same series, they're it's the Soul <laughs> series. So it started off with Soul Blade first or Soul Edge first, then it became Soul Blade, and then it became Soul Caliber. And it's been the Soul Caliber series ever since, man. Oh, I don't know, man, you know, this, they need to adapt that. I don't know what the storyline would be, but I used to love that freaking game. Nah, man. Uh, 
I know I'm pretty sure Netflix is gonna get on it. They already have a Dota. They got a they got a League of Legends coming out adaptation. I don't need this. I didn't ask for this. Give me Castlevania. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want oh, Castlevania. Wait. I know you guys already covered it, but like Mortal Kombat. I know y'all talked about that already, right? Have we? I don't think I was on that episode. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said he's a movie buff. I figured like he might have brought it up. Uh, what movie? I was looking uh, up Mortal the cat. Oh, Matt, dude, I saw when I was, uh, I haven't seen the new one, but I saw the, uh, not, not, yeah, I saw it. Jesus Christ. I played the old school game on, like, when I was a kid. Dude, oh, I know. All, yeah, dude. I, dude, Sega was insane, man. That and the Street Fighter, man, the side scroller. I played oh, so. Oh, you mean Streets of Rage? Was it that? I yes. just picks away the guy. You ran around beating shit up and fucking. <laughs> uh, dude, I don't know, man. That was shit. Shit was so fun. Sonic. Sonic, like I think yeah. my first insane thing though that really hit me though was when I got an Xbox, that big ass black fat Xbox, and yeah. then I got Halo One. <laughs> Everything changed, you know, like yep. like the Fire Nation attack, and it changed, dude. Fucking seriously. <laughs> oh, James Bond. You ever play James Bond? When you do, double. Like, are you talking about Golden on 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 sixty four? Yeah, yeah. That's when I, I remember realized that. I don't have. I, I realized I wasn't the gamer. Because everybody would be moving around with these little things right there. I don't even know and how I we did it back it. in the day. Yeah, it was like two little circles, and one is your sight, and the other one's you moving. Yeah. And I couldn't ever, like, get it both to work at the same time, so I always die. Yeah. So that's when I realized, like, okay, games is not for me, guys. So. You know, my my wife, she's not a gamer. I I love her to death, all right? She's not a gamer, <laughs> and I never try to force this her. Fight. You know, I never, but the thing is, I never try to force her into doing these things, but, oh man, get my phone out of here. Stop hitting me up on my OnlyFans. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, But my, but my wife, all right. So one of my birthday presents she she gave was uh, Smash Brothers for, for my Switch. And she wants to play it. She wants to play it. I'm like, I'm like, hey, I'm going to play some Smash. My wife goes, I want to play some Smash. Do you got Samus? Do you have Zero Suit Samus yet? I go, no, I don't have Zero Suit Samus yet. Hold on, <laughs> calm, girl, calm, girl. And then, of course, she's uh, the other the other day. She just randomly said to me, "Let's go back and play Star Wars on that Star Wars art, uh, that Star Wars Online game." And I go, "Oh yeah, you want to play? You want to play that one, the Old Republic game?" She goes, "Yeah, she loves that game because she gets to okay. be a a twi- a Twilight Jedi. She loves it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, how can I say no to that? My wife is precious." <laughs> But go. she's not a gamer, but she will make exceptions, you know? <laughs> I think Sims, that's what messed up my, like, I was in the house for a whole summer one time playing the Sims. Oh, it's wow. Like, yeah, that can get addicting. Like oh, yeah. I've heard, I've, I've, I've talked to people that, that played this, that played the Sims and they told me, yeah, that they, they would play a whole week into that. And I go, dude, I remember being a kid playing Diablo 2 and seeing the sun come up. And I that's when I realized I needed to stop <laughs> and I had to calm my shit <laughs> yeah. down. I was, it happened two weekends in a row. And I said, all right, you know what? I need to, I need to, you know, scale this back a bit. <laughs> that's so yeah, funny. Yeah. I woke up and just had to start back to school. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I haven't left out. Yeah. <laughs> Video game addiction. I, I can't say I can, I, I can, I can say, I can't say that it's not a real thing because it is real, but addiction is a real thing. People can get addicted when you have a personality that's very that's very uh, uh, predisposed to addiction and being mm-hmm. easily addicted. Yeah, video games can be you know can be a very bad drug for you. I, I've mm-hmm. I've seen it happen to a lot of I've seen it happen to a few people. I was gonna say a lot, but not really. I saw I've seen it happen to a few people that would play video games day and night, come to school hallucinating. Shit. <laughs> no, dude, I've happened. been there. I've been there. I've been so there. Much. Yeah, me too. I played Final Fantasy 11. It was an MMORPG Final Fantasy game. I played that over the weekend. I played it for 40, maybe 70, 70 hours straight. Went to school the next day and I hallucinated that I saw one of these worm creatures pop out of the ground. And I said, Bro, I need to fucking, I need to stop. <laughs> it's like, as soon as I saw that, I went, That's not real. I need to slow down. <laughs> I saw, I'm like, I'm in the spill out area having lunch with my friends. And I look over to my left and I see this like worm thing come out. Like, cause in the game, that's like one of the level one, you know, beginning, uh, beginning monsters is this worm that pops out of the ground. And I saw that in lunch and I went, huh, 
I need to stop. <laughs> I love how I had that level of cognizance. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Um, I was wondering, um, do, how do you guys promote your, your show? Only fans. <laughs> um, I don't use it. I don't I use mean, it. Well, I don't either. Well, I accept to look at naked women, but like, oh, is that. that what's on there? I know. Yeah, I use it to follow I bands. <laughs> I use OnlyFans to fo- follow my favorite local bands. Yeah, yeah. These you girls naked? are wearing. They're <laughs> naked. Hold up. I, what? What? what is my wife doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> she told me she was in a cover band. <laughs> Honey, how dare you? I believe well, how do we you. promote the show through India? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we, we get our trap ring through wherever they know. Uh, Mr. I'm gonna call him Mr. B. I like that. Uh, Mr. Where, B, love it. Where, wherever Mr. B is from, that's where we uh, but uh, yeah, no, we I, I don't know. We're on a bunch of platforms and I do a shitload of posting, but okay, honestly, I'm still learning. Like, we're so we're on 37 that so we've been doing this 37 weeks, you know, nice. so, like, we're, so we're still we're still learning too, you know, um, but. Yeah, no, I do a lot of SEO and that's where I saw the biggest bump, you know, outside of the SEO, you know, natural growth uh, with no ad campaigns or no work, just posting things like it, you know, it's friends of friends talk about it, but it's a really slow burn. So like, you know, and I tried, I tried Facebook ads. It seemed like a waste of time. They would be like, you had 3000 engagements and I had 80 views on my video. And I was like, you know, I'm not I'm, just go fuck yourself. Facebook. Like if you right. worked, I'll pay you. I'm all about, you know, uh, quid pro quo. You said, <laughs> let me run. Ads. Yeah, I'm, I'm here for the, for the exchange of service. If the money brings yeah. in the actual bang, I'll be, exactly. keep, I'll keep giving you the bucks. Exactly. And so I, Facebook, I thought was a scam and I I'm thinking about trying Google ads and I, I, According to what I understand, people who are monetized have uh, just in general a better chance to be seen because with the ads there, you know, you, they want to show people who are monetized or people who aren't because with ads there, YouTube's getting paid. You know, we're only yeah. getting paid because we have ads. It's the same. It's like right. TV, you know, TV shows, people, commercials pay them to be on their show in between it. Um, so and but you to, to be monetized, you have to have like a thousand subs and then uh, four thousand public watch hours in one calendar year. Mm. So so it's a fuckload of stuff. But I'm at. Yeah. We're, we're, we're not doing bad. We, we might we'll probably be monetized this year. But so I think that will make a big difference, too. But. And my plan is to be doing this 20 years from now. So okay. I'm going to put, that. yeah, I'm going to fucking throw $30 out of the week for the next 20 years. And I'll call this my <laughs> savings account. There you so, go. Man, there man. you go. Or yes, yeah, it's, your, it's your investment. Yeah. You know, however you want to look at it, baby. Yeah. yeah. This you know, is my Roth like, IRA. You know? You know? <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but it sounded like I did when I said right, No, that. no, you totally use it right. You okay. use it. You yeah. use it. 100%. That's like, it's a version of like a 401k, right? Yeah, you got it. No. <laughs> You want a hammer? Because you fucking nailed it. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Thanks, bro. No, I don't, I don't know shit about that. But uh, yeah, man, I don't know. And I said no to the 401k at my work, bro. I just got benefits at my job. Super happy about that. Um, I haven't had insurance like my whole life. So every time I got hurt, I was just like, just just ice and breathe. Ice and breathe. You know? <laughs> uh, Suck it up. So yeah, that, that, was, that was my dad's philosophy. Just, uh, you know, nut up, buttercup. Shut up. <laughs> you know. I'm uh, trying to watch the game. And it made me tough. Like, good on him. But Jesus Christ, that is not it's not fun to be tough all the time. <laughs> Dad, hug me, man. Yeah, yeah. No, not a hugger, man. Not a not a hugger. Uh, but but yeah, no, I don't know, dude. Having a really rough childhood put me in, I think, a better spot in life just because people who haven't had a rough childhood, they'll get their perspective when they're an adult. They'll 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 be comfortable in their life and then something will shake their comfortability, unfortunately, yeah. hopefully, you know, I don't say hopefully because like the other side of you, you, you only become wise because you fucked up or because you learned something was different than you thought it was like, right. you know, if you started at wisdom, it wouldn't be called wisdom. You know what I mean? Like it'd be called you know. dumb. Yeah. <laughs> because we don't need to talk about it. We're already there. Shut up. You know? <laughs> but but yeah, so I, I don't know. I'm it, it's you know. Honestly, like if I could go back in time, I wouldn't because I'm, I'm curious to see what the future is. Now, if I'm on my last day of my life and someone's like, you want to go back in time, I might just think about it. But uh, at 20, I'm 26 right now and I'm I'm pretty oh. happy, dude. I've been through a lot of shit and I'm I'm, you know, I'm 
supporting my daughter and I'm living life and I'm pretty yeah. happy, you know. He's doing it, man. He's I'm making in- ladies, he's making it happen. Do you not like, understand? Like a Will Smith <laughs> movie know? quote of the yeah. title. Yeah. I'm in the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, the best that was the best Will Smith movie in the pursuit of happiness. I love that part where he went and he punched that alien in the face and said, Welcome to Earth. I love that part. <laughs> I love Great movie. It. Conflating like a motherfucker. <laughs> I'm only thinking about it trying to push it. Hey, <laughs> when you bring up that pursuit of happiness and then you segue into fucking Independence Day, like, oh, I thought it was Black. wait, what? Yeah, you just mixed up two movies. You didn't realize that? No. Nah. Yeah, no. You totally Independence Day is the Will Smith movie they've made twice now, where he's he's in a Wait, alien there's a, in a second pilot. movie? They oh, redid really? Independence Day. They redid the whole fucking movie. That that is the most hetero thing I've ever heard in my life. It's that awesome. It, I loved it. I was no, super, I was no, no. I no. I'm sick of it. <laughs> oh, tired of all these remakes. <laughs> <laughs> I want wow. new. Generate oh. me new content, please. I mean, that's that's one of the reasons why I've been watching so and much. What, you know, that's where he's coming. Hulu from. and Netflix, man. Yeah. I, yeah, and then original content like like what Brian James has been doing. I, I, I listen. That's why I've been listening to audio dramas. I mean, one of the ones I've always listened to was Welcome to Night Vale. I, that's a great one. I mean, granted, I fell out of it years ago, but I remember I enjoyed it when I listened to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah what about Limelight or Lime something? Yeah, it's Lime on Limelight. Yeah. It got picked up by Amazon, I think. Really? It's a show now. Yeah, with okay. Jessica Biel. She's um, alive? Yeah. After she and married Jessica, so many new like, things. Yeah. <laughs> She's been hiding out. <laughs> Dude, you know she's been doing her she's been playing a lot of video games good for her <laughs> she's, been my- she's taught minecraft she's like all right i'm done i think i got what i needed <laughs> yeah see but yeah i like i love the i love the i love the creative outlets man i love how people you know like brian james is out there doing something creative and then of course ricky and i and spencer you know we do this podcast and we have our we we have our own things on the side where ricky likes to shoot pictures of uh creepy creepy president jb with with guns and and uh fix up cars while i i write whatever story that comes to my mind whether it's horror or whatever it's you know erotica <laughs> i'm gonna airdrop a video that uh i had this weekend the, the link to myself right now because i went shooting with a buddy of mine and um and, <laughs> and yeah so he likes to, to shoot at pictures of his ex-wife and so he shot a picture of his ex-wife and then he videotaped me oh, shooting a picture of his ex-wife. And so is it Jessica Beale? if it was Jessica Beale, <laughs> would be shooting would be shooting things a lot softer than bullets at her. <laughs> <laughs> I think I get the gist of it. Yeah, you're gonna get the gist of it. Uh no, but I I I just copied the iCloud link. I'm gonna mail it to myself right now. I'll show you guys in a few seconds. But I right. yeah, dude. So my shoulders all bruised up right here. So uh um, oh yeah, look at that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. No, I can yeah, totally see it. it. But yeah, no, right here, dude. Fucking oh, like five shots of a 12 gauge, man. I haven't shot a shotgun in it, like since I was a kid. Holy shit, man. That they pack a wall up. <laughs> like, it I almost knocks your socks off. It took me down. <laughs> uh, when you so, well, quick question. You remember we was talking about earlier before we start recording that about the um the Beyonce Destiny Child shake up you had to do uh, with your group. Uh, no, the the Beyonce us? Child what? No, no. Okay, so was it hard for you guys? Because I know I have to like I fire people a lot on my cast uh, uh-huh. for so many different reasons. I'm like a tyrant. Guys, like a they tyrant. hate me. Yeah, they hate me. I'm like this tall, so, you know, I have that Napoleon complex, like, it's all money! <laughs> Shaking the table. Get to the job <laughs> No, I, I, can, like the I, can, I can relate to that, bro. Like, when I started this, I was doing it with two of my good buddies, and and the reason they're not co-hosts now was due to personal reasons, both in their own, their own case. You know, one of them was... Uh, I, I needed him to commit more time because he said he'd do things and then didn't. And I, like, if he didn't say he'd do things, I wouldn't have expected them. But once he said he would, I was irritated. He didn't. And it, it caused a negative dynamic. And I was too much of a boss and too little of a friend. And yeah, he was like, this is just a headache. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. It's a headache for me too. So why don't we just, you know what I mean? You go on with your busy ass life and I'll, you know, and we, we're still remotely friends, you know, but it's, uh, 
So that was one thing. And then the other thing was the other guy was like the guy who trained me at my first job in the state like five years ago. And we were, we were really tight and it ended with him being like, come get your cards from my house and, you know, come get your microphone and all this shit. Like he was, you know, and it was, you it was just over- Dungeons and Dragons cards back. My no, Magic, Magic the cards. Gathering. Magic the Gathering. Oh shit! Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> doesn't have cards unless you're playing four. Or unless you're playing four. Oh, son, come on! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I only things. yeah. So so uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's a give and take. You know, I've learned. I'm I haven't changed how I've operated since they they've departed. I've just I've learned that you know what I mean. I I have to. I have to make it. So now I make like a whole talk where like, you know, you get together and, you know, I, I don't know. I just kind of treat it like an adult. I'm like, you know, how much artistic percent do you want to put in? How much this do you want to put in? We're all equal partners, but how much, you know, and like Spencer's right. he's doing the heavy lifting with gas and that, that takes a weight off my shoulders. And I met some really cool people who I didn't know about beforehand. So it allows for more of a curiosity dynamic, which is cool. Like you, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have anything but your email until a day ago. <laughs> and then, you know what I mean? He sent me the link to your podcast and I looked and I was like, dope. But still, I was yeah. with my daughter swimming at a pool. You know what I mean? I put my phone back <laughs> in my pocket and then you joined when I sent the email and I was like, damn, you know, um, yeah. but uh, no, so it, you know, it was it chill, you know, and I, I liked, I liked the surprise, you know, I could care less who's on the show. I'm never going to, no one's ever going to show up and I'm going to be like, no one's ever going to show up. You know, like he I, said, I, no one's ever going to show up. <laughs> no one ever. It's always going to be me and Ricky talking about what homoerotic story I'm writing today. Because he's yeah, like, I mean, plug that shit, bro. You have your own, you have your own link now. Your own little fucking. I know everyone can go there, read it. I, I welcome Brian James to go, you know, read it. It's a, you know, it's a fun little story. I had a lot of fun writing okay. it. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. <Riding it. laughs> yeah, I had a lot. No, yeah, all right. So funny, a funny story with this one is that you know when I wrote it, I read it out loud. <laughs> you said wrote it when I wrote it. I wrote. I, yeah, sorry, I wrote. wrote. I'm sorry. I have a. I have. A, I have a really bad. You know, like South Florida accent sometimes that so we get. Nice. Uh, I talk yeah, like, don't, he, don't let him lie to you. He's just got stretched out cheeks from all the extracurricular activities he's doing. No, 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 no,
Yeah, all right, bullshit. That poster over there says otherwise, motherfucker. All right, it's a <laughs> seven foot poster. <laughs> <laughs> but the, yeah. the, the, the kid, the, kid, the guy in the show, the main character, gone, he's 12 years old. And I said, No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're like, you're 18. You could tell me all day you're anime, you're 12 years old in anime, but you're really like 22 years old. Who else lets their 12 year old kid go out and start hunting shit? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll check it out. <laughs> really good one. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, I I like to try to pick people around my age and then go with that when I write a story. Cause I'm like, first of all, I can't get into a kid's mind. I, I don't know what kids think these days. TikTok and whatnot. True. No. TikTok and whatnot. <laughs> I know gobble and goop. If I could do a kid? Bill Cosby, I'd be doing it right now. <laughs> And then corn pop, and then with the wig and the wool bed, and then the cold pop, and the rupees and the quail. Right, I would say he put the cold in the plenty pop. Quail in the pudding pop. Is this night gonna end with us doing bad Bill Cosby impression? <laughs> you see, There's when no you got the girl way. upstairs in the room and she's trying to get up there and try to get out the day, you put a little quaalude in the foot and fuck <laughs> in the, in the <laughs> door. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Oh, All right. I gotta hit Brian. Yeah, Brian, Brian, you know, if you wanna, it's in the la- in the last episode that we had. Uh-huh. This, the, the the link to my blog is there. Just go onto my blog, go into uh, I think I labeled it as like written work or you know words of fiction or something. Go there. It should still be like one of the more recent stories that I put up there. And it's oh, the it's the t- ongoing. It, no, it's 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 finished. It's only it, it took me fifty four hundred words to write it. It and the title is very simple. It's just I want to try gay things with my femme boy roommate. That's all. It, it's very rolls off the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> this, this sounds very nonfiction. My my wife loves it. She's she's had me read it to her at least three times. I'm just saying. I want to try gay things. I just want to. I want to see if I can Google it. Oh hell yeah, that'd be great. I'm actually gonna try Google. Fem. Yeah, F E M. Yeah, F E M. Fem boy. So you femme know, boy. like a trap. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Yo, I'll do, I'll do you one better, man. I, right, uh, let me, let me go to what show was on the thirty six. I think it was the like, uh, episode, episode. Yeah, it was the last episode or 30, episode thirty six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah thirty seven. Okay, let me see. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll email you the link right now, man. Okay, cool. Go. The one from what? Uh, still foxes. Yeah, still foxes. All right, cool. Yeah, no, I, that's that's what I love about having a, a PC right here. I can just diddly doop, diddly doop. <laughs> oh man, uh, the Bill Cosby's working right now. Uh, you were what? C. What the fuck was C? What's the second second digit of your email? Um, BC four oh, one. Yeah, you're good. There we go. I got it. Uh, you got a link to his blog in your email right now, bud. Yeah, go ahead. See if we can find it. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Oh no! I said, I out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There oh, you go. You're back. Okay. okay. Give us a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Which email is this? Uh, oh, no. I love that. It's my jam right there, bro. We're on our phones. I do that to people. <laughs> no, I do that to um. Uh, the people who call me like at and stuff when they finally answer, I'm like, can you hold on for a second? I just start singing like da 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 da. da, da. They like, what the fuck? Oh man, oh, I actually, bro. I actually just looked. I actually typed in, I want to try gay things with my femboy roommate on DuckDuckGo, and literally, it's the first hit. For real? For real? That's it's uh, an easy. That's- yeah, that's like that's my that's blog dope. right there as the first hit, and there's that long ass title out of focus but yeah it's it, it showed up on on duck that go as the first hit. so i gotta give props that that i didn't even type in the whole thing i i, I left out femboy and it still showed up right there oh, that's yeah. dope and i got yes. something about secret roommate sodomy on snopes and then whatever i'm out that's it i should not hit images my bad <laughs> <laughs> i accidentally hit it my finger slipped that's what she said <laughs> yeah, I, I see it. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna read that. I got yeah, read it, man. You know, and then 
you know, hit me, hit me up on my, hit me up on my Insta. Let me know what you think. I'm, I always like, pos- I love whatever feedback you can give positive or negative. As long as it's constructive, it's all I care about. You know, just I go can't take it. Uh, I get <laughs> I like to think, you know, over the years, man, I, I've learned to put that metaphorical shield around my heart and understand that you have to pull yourself exterior, exteriorize yourself from your work sometimes, because, man, I, I, when I used to edit myself, I, I used to invalidate. I used to go, who the fuck is this retard writing this shit? What is this, man? I turned into, you know, a wrestler all of a sudden and then you know, berate myself. And I sit there in the corner go, I'm sorry, daddy. you know funny we're talking about voice acting and i'm showing off my range exactly (laughs) that's what i was just thinking here (laughs) you know the funny thing is i i'm thinking i i want to make a i don't know how i can make a demo reel but i I had i had a few people tell me i should get into voice acting yeah maybe one day i'll i'll I'll, I'll look into it this year i got nothing i mean florida just opened back up governor DeSantis says there ain't no virus when did it close? What? What? Closed? I thought Florida was the only place in America that was. We're open, open, baby. Yeah. When did yeah, it he, close? We never closed. I'm not. We never closed. I'm <laughs> we saying, never I'm not, closed. We were fine. I, what COVID? Said, what COVID? <laughs> yeah, they're like, what? Co-? Governor DeSantis said, what COVID, homie? You can. There ain't. COVID is done, and you can run over protesters with your cars. Is this it? Uh, no, you're well, on Reddit. Yeah, you're on Reddit. Yeah. I didn't know, oh, no, no, literally, bro. The, the, go to your email. To, you have the exact link in your email, bro. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Don't this worry was about to, it. I'm a straight guy who's attracted to my fanboy roommate, and I don't know what to do next. He stole your fucking title, man. Yo, that actually almost sounds like my title. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, I, I, on my on my blog, I put in all rights reserved, and I put in my real name. I'm just saying, because Leon Andrews <laughs> is a pet. Is, Leon Andrews is what they call a pseudonym. It is a fake. It is a author name. But in my blog, it has my real name at the very bottom. I don't care. What up? I don't yeah. care. He says, I don't even care. Yeah. <laughs> Cash me outside. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, guys, check out this other thing on YouTube called Corporate Casket. Okay. Um, it, it's, yeah, it's this girl called the Illuminati. Um, I've never seen them in person. I love those sounds- guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she has this thing called corporate casket where she talk about um like <clears throat> different companies and the shady dealings or whatever. So she here talked about Dr. Phil and he take he know how he send those kids to those the big yeah. kids to camp. Those are not shit. real. No, wait, they wait, wait, the craziest the camps that they send them to, like kids show up like in the bed, uh right mm-hmm. uh more fucked up than when they came, like. It's real fucked up there. Like one Do- more there's... like Doctor Feel, if you know what I mean, guys. <laughs> so, no, when you said "Catch Me Outside," I remember she did like a little yeah. um, PSA about that was fucked up what they did to me there. Yeah. So, yeah, and then she tried to have a rap career. I think she's still trying to have a rap career. I like one of her songs. It's called. Uh... Hold on. I remember one time at work that that girl came up in conversation i was doing that joke i said catch me outside how about that and then my co-worker starts talking about it he goes man you're talking that's that girl from that dr phil episode i you know when mm-hmm. i confirmed it he goes yeah man that girl has some really big titties sexy as fuck and i looked at him i went that girl is 14 man <laughs> you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Now. <laughs> for the real song, you never yeah, want to song is called high bitch mm. Is she like high, like smoking weed high, or high like, hey girl? <laughs> like, it's just like high, like, uh, it's not. It's not much. Yo, and she's doing it on a trap beat. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's very elementary, but. Uh, yo, come you know. on. Get out of here with that, man. That ain't no Childish Gambino. That ain't no Tyler. <laughs> oh, man. I saw uh, Childish at fucking uh, Coachella. He's amazing. Oh, he's so good, man. I, I love I love me some Childish Gambino, man. I remember when my I remember when my best friend put me on him. I was forever grateful. I thought I went I, recently for some reason. I don't know why. I just went back and re-listened to the mixtape royalty. And I just got to say mm. that album slaps, man. <laughs> So yeah. good. Have you listened to royalty? Um, do yourself uh, a favor, man. 
do yourself a favor right after this go just type in Childish Gambino royalty listen to that album so good unnecessary blackface oh god these are good songs <laughs> is that the one in the video where he's in like at the forest bonfire no or that no? that's from the album camp that's a that's a studio album we're talking about a mixtape okay. so that one is literally free to download yeah he, yeah his mixtapes are all free to download his studio albums you have to have you have either have to have a subscription to like spotify or buy it you know as as an album vinyl whatever but the mixtapes are all free and royalty i when that i i remember i downloaded the day it came out and i was fucking blown away with how good it was still to this day i'm like man this album still is good <laughs> yeah i felt um he came out with a new album. Yeah, 31520, which came out last year. Oh shit. So I need to was... listen. I, my my um my my best friend told me to give it a listen. It's really good. It's really good. And I mean I'm still I'm still listening to it because of the internet, because that's just a great album from beginning to end. Okay. But, um uh, Awaken My Love is pretty good. I like that one. Oh uh, yeah, from Redbone. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Or what's it like? Um, what's the name of that song? It's one I listen to all the time, like Zombies. Is that the one? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, it's um, Zombies. Then you got a Riot. Then Red right. uh, Yeah, Me and okay. Your Mama. Me and Your Mama. Me and Your Mama. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. I love I love Childish Gambino, great guy, very versatile. I would love to be I would love to be called the Hispanic Donald Glover one day in my life, just to be able to be as versatile as him. I don't know if I can rap. I don't think I can. I could play a ukulele and have my wife sing. That's close enough. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I, I just go, honey, honey, let's do that one song. She goes, no, nah, I don't want to do that song, bitch. You gotta listen to it. I will Ike turn at you right now. <laughs> Bro, shit. <laughs> Eat the cake, anime. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, no. We, let's let's do uh let's do our freaking our plugs real quick. What do you want to What do you want to plug here for the end of the show, Brian? To tell everyone oh, about. And not a butt one, please. Not a butt one. <laughs> I got one in my bag. Um. <laughs> I mean, no, no, I'm sorry. Never mind. I, I got four of them. <laughs> it's for different R levels. <laughs> Wrong show. <laughs> no, okay. hilarious. Uh, but yeah, plug yeah. plug your social and anything besides your show or anything and your show, and, and you, we'll have your links. Anything you want below the show, we'll get all your links from you and we'll put it below. All right, so follow me on Instagram. It's the Big Bear Wolf, but you spell it T H E B I period G B A D W O L L F. Oh, yeah, that. And then you know Snapchat, the Body Brand. Uh, website Body Works. It got my product line. You can book a massage, guys. You know, and you that'd can, be an um, episode. Also... Do the next podcast, but we'll get we'll we'll pay to fly you to each of our houses. Yeah, there you go. And I mean, hey, and I also wrestle. Like I got. A <laughs> oh man, <laughs> hey, Leon, you can wrestle him while you're. Yo, no, I'm not, not even. No, nah, I'll take. I, I I got the tag team. I got the tag team event. I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna go in. I'm just gonna have my brother. I'm gonna have my brother Sebastian the Shaman. He's a wrestler. He train. He's a he's a trained Sebastian wrestler. Sebastian the Shaman. Yeah, okay. the urban yeah. shaman. Okay. Wait, is wait? They not gonna just let me win, are they? No. Oh shit. No, you gotta work. You gotta work for that dub. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's wicked funny. Um, yeah, and so uh, type all those up in a little paragraph and send it back to me on the email that you have the blog from where I no invited problem. you and uh, I'll have them all beneath the show. And if I don't get them in a few days, I'll have Spencer reach out. But uh, Leon, what do you, what do you got to, to not put in your butt? Man, that is a very closed, narrow question. I have everything. <laughs> <laughs> Start with starting with this. Oh God. Oh. That... <laughs> no, no. Uh, but yeah, you can hit me up on my Insta. It's alternative underscore Zen. Z E N, and then of course you can hit uh, Twitter, all one word, uh, alternative Zen, and then of course you got my blog, stillfoxes.home.blog. You guys can check out my stuff; it's all up there. We got stuff working on, and maybe an essay coming out. Who knows? Okay. You know. You and then of course, and of course, if you want to follow the Dungeons and Dragons thing, it's it's all I don't have it as a podcast. It, it's all posted up as a journal almost every week. So you know, there there's that. I'm gonna check it out. 
Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I yeah, that. awesome. And yeah, all the other links in it beneath the show. Check out our Patreon and check out uh, all the things we got going on. Thanks for listening. Everybody have a good night. Deuces. Good night.